Tonight, a first look at video showing Robbinsdale police pursuing a man days before he was found dead in a lake. It happened last summer. His death is getting a second look after the man's family and activists questioned how he died and whether officers played a role. And just in the last few minutes, Khalil Azad's family released a statement. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt is following all of the breaking updates tonight. Rose. Randy Kelsey, Robbinsdale police released squad cam and body camera from three different officers, so six videos total. The video begins shortly after police tried to initiate a traffic stop and during a short chase. We've since learned 24-year-old Khalil Azad was driving that car, but we don't actually see him in any of this footage. I got a vehicle that's uh, fleeing from me and it looks like it's going to crash here. Okay. 81 drivers bailing. Shortly after that, we see officers approach the car that has crashed, and while we don't see Khalil Azad, an officer references him here. Driver bailed towards the lake running eastbound. After that, we see the officers talk to the passengers. Police are looking for Azad, but more than a half hour goes by, and they still haven't found him. I'm guessing he's long gone at this point, but so a lot of different directions he could have went. Police canine! Then we see officers head into a wooded area. We see a canine and hear them talking about the state patrol helicopter searching the area, but still no sign of Azad. I think we're done. Yeah. I mean, if we haven't picked up anything, I mean, we're looking at probably damn near an hour now. We're also learning tonight the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension will conduct an independent investigation of Azad's death. So let's give you some background on this case. Azad was stopped by Robbinsdale police in July, they say on suspicion of drunk driving. Two days later, he was found dead in Crystal Lake. The Hennepin County Medical Examiner's Office says he accidentally drowned, but the case is getting a fresh look now after his family and activists questioned that cause of death. Officers say after they searched for Azad, they had no further interaction with him. But his family is pointing to autopsy photos they believe show dog bites along with other injuries they think police caused. And just into our newsroom in the last couple of minutes, Azad's family and activists releasing a statement saying they believe more officers were at the scene than what was in the police report, and they question why he was pulled over in the first place. They're also calling for the release of body camera from other agencies as well. Randy. All right, Rose, thank you.